It's usually the local uh, whiners that make a big deal about emergency and meteorites. Maybe this game isn't as pro cop as I remembered. Jeez. <laughs> okay. Uh, why is the road to Tucson closed? An emergency, of course. At times like this, kids like you should be playing Nintendo games. Anyway, are you sure you want to go to Tucson? Okay, follow me. This is the police chief. And, um... He's supposed to be difficult. I've never I've never had trouble with him. Um, but he brings you in here to fight five of his guys at once. Which, you know, five cops beating up a kid. Haven't seen that in the news lately, but, you know, it wouldn't surprise me. Hey, small fry, you must be shaking in your boots. Not really. I have, like, superpowers, man. It's fine. Um... Yeah. Yeah, okay. Two hits should do it. That, that, that one hit he got on me was more significant than I expected. You're tough. You should... No. You, 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 you wouldn't catch me dead on the police force, man. Your average policeman is stronger than any superhero. I... No, that is, that is certainly not true. <laughs> Have you guys heard of Superman? Or, like, Ant-Man? <laughs> Yeah, okay, that one's that one's beaten already. Fantastic. Um, this is a boss rush. You don't get to, like, run off and heal in between them either. Burger. Ah, god dang it. Yeah, I'll throw away a cookie. Yes, I want to throw away the cookie. Oh, you won. Yes, I did. I don't let the mayor's compliments uh, give you a big head. Bring it on, fat boy. Hey, that's uncalled for. Even if it is accurate. Uh, okay, I'm gonna smash on him too. No? Alright, whatever. Screw off. Get okay experience from these guys too. Let's do this again sometime. Um, no. No, I don't think we will. Hey, come on. I'm going to take you apart right here, right now, baby. D don't. What? You're weird. I don't like you. Seriously? Okay, good. Two, two, two freaking crushing chops in a row, though. That sucks. Alright. This is where it gets interesting, because, you know, rightfully so, the last cop runs away. <laughs> and so you have to fight the chief as the fifth guy. There's no way I can beat you in a straight competition, so get ready for my Super Ultra Mambo Tango Foxtrot Martial Arts. Cool. Um, it's actually, let's actually um, go a little crazy. Ah, oh, that's not good. He's raising his stats. I'm actually going to go ahead and recover. Being a little paranoid, but I'm going to do it anyway. Ow. Heal. Jeez. Alright, well, never mind. That was almost really bad. I, I was almost within kill range. Let myself heal up. Okay, didn't even heal me completely. That's his, that's his really good attack. Really? You're kidding me. Two in a row. I've never seen him use that even more than once in a single fight before. Wow. That was nuts. He was actually thinking pretty strategically that time. Still kicked his ass, but still, jeez. I don't think you'd do so well against the mighty Onyx police force. You want me to open the road to Tucson? Hang on for a sec. I'll radio my staff and give them the word. Beep, beep, click, click, strong. Strong here. You hear me? Hey, it's me, Captain Strong. Okay, let's kid you. I don't care. Red hat. Blah, blah, blah. Can I leave now? Screw off. Well, kid, I'm not going to question you now, but... I do want to see you again. Good luck. <sighs> Is this just like their beating up children room? Why, why, why do they just have a big open room here? That's so weird. Alright, well... E either way... We're, um... Now able to officially move on from... Where am I going? Heal first, then the hotel. Um, we're able to officially move on from on it now to Tucson. Yeah. Um, which is, is fun. The, um, the different towns in this game 
Like, um, I guess they get a little crazier as the game goes on, from what I know. Like, they're, they're not super dissimilar early on. But they all have their own unique charm to them. But, were you trying to run over a child, jerk? It's almost like I should get out of the middle of the road. Um, that was weird. It's this way, right? Yeah. Alright. Look at these guys. Look at these guys running away from me. You see them on the, down there? Bring it, man. Jeez, stop running so much. Come here. Look at that. Cool. Um, now that we're out here, we will start seeing um, more than two androids at a time. Which is annoying, especially when I keep missing them. Die. So, you know. Cookie. Yep, I don't care. No. Yes. I'm actually going to go in here real quick. And I'm going to eat some of these cookies again. Because I, I forgot to go sell them. <laughs> did I go save? I didn't, I didn't remember to save either, did I? Dear God. I'm, um... I don't take this game super seriously. Like, um, it's it's a very fun game, don't get me wrong. But it's kind of goofy. The, the tone of it's kind of goofy, so I kind of treat it kind of goofy. It's not like I'm trying to tell a story here of my own anyway. I'm, I'm just trying to show you guys the game, right? Um, I am going to go overkill on this guy because I hate him. Um, <laughs> just kill him outright immediately. Um, those you do, you do kill. You do kill the plant-based enemies. Instead of just taming them, which I find hilarious. I guess plants don't deserve rights. Uh, <laughs> but, um... I'm, I might forget stuff, is my point. I might forget stuff as I'm just goofing around. I'll try to I'll try to take it a little more seriously as we go, right? Keep that from happening. Howdy! Hey, welcome! Would you like me to tell you about Tucson? Of course! Tucson is a modern, clean hotel. There's a hospital and the wonderful Chaos Theater. There is the Polestar Preschool and a nice bus station. If you're curious, you might want to check out Berglund Park. It's exciting. East of town, you'll find the Peaceful Rest Valley. I hate Peaceful Rest Valley. On the other side of the Happy Happy Village, there's also a pizza parlor. Do you want anything else? Well, I don't actually know anything else. <laughs> it's hilarious. Uh, I can save here. Go ahead and do that. I'm actually going to... Actually, gonna. I don't actually don't need to because there should be one. Yeah, there there'll be one there. Uh, there's a department store in town right over here. Let me go in here. I'm gonna get all my money out. Music in this game is just so good. Uh, how much do I have? Fourteen hundred. All right, just get it all. Get it all out. Boom. Um, I don't think I need any equipment from this one, do I? I can never remember how much anything costs, so I always just get all my money. Is it here? Is it this one here? Uh, yeah. I'm gonna buy... Probably two of the bears? I love the teddy bears. I think they're the best item in the game. Um, no, I'm good. Because I'm pretty sure you have weapons, right? And aside from the slingshot, which is inaccurate, so I don't care, this is all just, like, comparable to what I've got. Or it's stuff I can't use. Like, the fry, the fry pan and the ribbon are for our next party member, which is why they're here, so I can come and get them later. I mean, I guess I could buy them now, maybe. I, I just don't. I don't really care to. Um, do I have anything else I can sell to you? Uh, I have this baseball cap. It's not as good as the, my my Mr. Baseball cap, so I'll sell that. <clears throat> I don't need the cookies. Don't need the bread roll either. And then another three dollars from the from the cookie. Um, but you can see now the the teddy bears following me around. 
and in in battle it'll act as a second party member it doesn't do anything but it will draw the attention of enemies and absorb hits for me kind of like basically what pokey did back when we had pokey in the party at the beginning of the game let's go back here i should keep at what 200 I'm trying to remember there's a character there's a character in town that you you need to give him some money all right, so let's leave ourselves with 200 and then head out. There's also a... I think it, I guess it's technically optional. I have always done it, but I guess it's technically optional. Um, boss battle. If we head to the park. And head over to this guy here. His name I can never remember. <laughs> Why don't we uh, chat later after we've locked horns? <laughs> Everdrad, that's right. right. Let's kick his ass real quick. Yeah. That's that's the one bad thing. He can steal your items. Uh, just kill him. Screw you. Uh, stop stealing my hamburgers. Ugh, so annoying. Took more damage than I wanted to, too. But that's like, that's why you want to do it. You get good experience for him. Uh, yes, I'm Everdread, boss of Berglund Park. When I jumped off the roof, I twisted my ankle. Anyway, I lost, and nothing will change that. You know, you're pretty strong. Yeah, I know that you want to find out about a girl named Paula. And she went off to a secret hideout in Peaceful Rest Valley. A chubby boy and a weird guy in a blue outfit have kidnapped her, though. And they said that they were going to make Paula some sort of human sacrifice. I like, I like how he says that so casually. Or at least it comes off very casual, right? They were definitely hardcore strange. You know, she might have uh, be gone already. You'd better hurry. If you save Paula, be sure to come back here, okay? Don't forget. Okay, sure. Yeah, that was fun. It, it gives you a little bit of information. This is the preschool. It's one of the landmarks that lady who knows nothing but landmarks told us about. Come in here. Hello, ma'am. Whistle whistle anywhere. It makes me smile all the while. I'm Paula's mother. I'm busy taking care of these kids. You shouldn't worry about Paula. She has a guardian angel, it seems. Okay. So she seems to know that Paula's not here. But then you talk to Paula's dad. So you want to see Paula? Many come here to see her miraculous powers, but they're just leeches. So, are you from the TV station or what? Nope. Uh, to meet you or not to meet you can only be decided by Paula. Paula said that she would only meet with a boy named AJ. Oh, so you're AJ. You're the one who was in Paula's dreams. <coughs> you will save the world. I mean, I'm going to try. Let me go call Paula. He does not seem to know that Paula is not here. Runs back down here. Oh no, she's gone! Yeah. Um, nope, I'm just gonna go and invade her personal space. And... If we open this present... It's another teddy bear! Nice little room. Weird perspective, but nice. And I'm gonna go see if I can get it to trigger. It should trigger. And I need to... God dang it. I need to heal anyway after fighting Everdread. So let's leave here. Um, these kids also say some pretty interesting stuff. Paul is like a mother to me. You may not be able to comprehend my emotions. I might have a baby face, but I possess the mind of an adult. I beg your pardon. Um, well, I wanted to play with Paula, but she's gone somewhere. Dude, move. Come on. When I grow up, I want to be just like Paula, with mysterious powers and everything. Doesn't everybody move, kids? Come on. Alright, so I guess that one is really the only one who says anything interesting. Do you say anything? Yeah, everybody's talking about Paula. She's like the town hero. Or celebrity, or whatever. So the hotel was up here, right? I don't even remember. Ah, I forgot about this. Alright, sure. Get a picture of me with my teddy bear. Photographic genius. Uh -huh, uh -huh, yep. 
Mm, fuzzy pickles. Cool. Yep. Bye. Leave me alone. Isn't it like 50 bucks at this one, I think? I don't remember. Let's do that. Leave my $200. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. AJ? AJ? AJ, I'm a friend who you have never met before. My name is Paula. Can you hear me calling you? I am Paula. AJ? I, Paula. I am Paula. Can you hear me calling? Yeah, your name's Paula, right? Help. Come and help me. Um, I don't know where I am. I can hear water running in the distance. AJ, please help me. <sighs> Alright, I'll do what I can. God, everybody's always needing something. Oh, yeah, yeah there's this guy, too. Um, which I guess I technically could have come in here. Right? And done this first, and then not need to get my own money out. Uh, you talked to this guy a million times. He, he's, he's, he mostly just whines. Um, he'll eventually... Where is it? Come on. Yeah, get yourself a juice or something. Ka-ching! Gave you 50 bucks. Very cool. Alright, so... Save... Paula, where are you? It's time for a yummy piece of pie. Yeah, yeah. Nothing you can do, old man. Now, where's Apple Kid's house? It's like it's like south of here, right? Or no, it was like this is where the park is. Hey, it's a butterfly. I don't need it, but here, give me, give me, give me butterfly juice. Yeah, god dang it. Um, so he would be... Go, go, buddy. Come on. Here we go. Hey, buddy. Well, I sort of neglect to do my housework. I know it's a bit of a pigsty, but anyway, I'm Apple Kid. I haven't taken a bath in quite a while, so I may be kind of stinky. By the way, I'm starving. Do you have something to eat? Uh, what can you give me? Um, you can have one of my last two hamburgers, I guess. Whatever. I don't use healing items anyway. Um, sure, I'll invest in your crazy, wacky inventions for 200 frickin' dollars. And we try to leave. I am a mouse. No one has given me a name yet. You took care of my master. In return, I want to give you this. Please take it and say nothing. And I got the receiver phone. Which um, only receives calls. It does not allow you to make them, so it does not allow you to save anywhere, which is extremely disappointing. But uh, it's, a, it's a relatively important item. Such good, just, it's such a good sounding game. I love it. Am I not going to see any enemies? There are enemies on this path. No enemies? No enemies? Alright, that's fine with me. Come on, man. <laughs> uh, no enemies here either. That's weird. Usually see one of the little little sprout guys. Seriously? Alright. Um, this is the mushroom girl. She's pretty funny. Yum de dum dum. I'm hunting for mushrooms. I'm going to collect a ton. Um, there's a certain status ailment you can get. If you come to her while you have it, she'll pay you money to get rid of it. Or you could pay her money to get rid of it. I don't remember. I've never done it before. I just remember um, hearing about it in a Let's Play once. Freaking little UFOs. God damn it. All of the enemies here are annoying. They can do status stuff to you. Um, they do decent amounts of damage. And they, they give you good experience, but it's less experience than I think they're worth, some of them. Like, there's a stinking walking tree that I hope we don't see any of at all. Uh, those guys are bad enough. Um, that when you kill it, it catches fire. So if there's still enemies left in the fight, you'll just burn to death. 
as as you continue to be on fire as the as the battlefield continues to be on fire and there's like this spinning robot that's just annoying now freaking game fun for some weird reason a pencil shaped iron statue is blocking the path this is one of the wackiest aspects of the game i think um but we can't go any further so we have to go back so let's just cut to when we get back to town i guess still hardly any enemies that's weird all right, so we get back to town. I did fight a couple enemies in the cave. And the receiver phone rings. Hello, this is Apple Kid. I just finished work on this great invention. Get over here as fast as you can. This thing's so cool. See you soon, slam beep. And, um, freaking mushrooms. God damn it. I try to avoid them. I hate the mushrooms. I hate them so much. They're so annoying if they actually do what they're supposed to do. And, um, Apple Kid isn't home right now even though he says you know get back here like is, you assume he's gonna be here he's not here and uh, if I hadn't literally just replayed through this part of the game for funsies I um, wouldn't remember where he is I went the wrong way so of course I did he's um, in the park and he's down here um, and his mouse is here too I'm feeling really out of it because I'm I've been working all night but finally the pencil eraser is ready this machine will eradicate all pencil-shaped figures in just one second. It's incredibly powerful. So don't use it near a shop that sells pencils. Here, it's yours now. And that's how you get by the... The, um, pencil statue. <laughs> With a device that's literally, its only purpose is to erase pencil-shaped things. It's utterly ridiculous. Um, how much damage have I taken? A ton. What notification just went off on my phone? Jeez. Um, yeah, not a ton. I should be okay. Let's go up here and save real quick. I sh this is actually probably a good stopping point too. Um, yeah, I just this this game's so quirky and funny. I'm, I'll try again. I'll try to take it a little more seriously so I can show off some of the like cooler. Areas of the game, too, you know, cooler aspects of it, too, rather than just kind of goofing on it. But it is. It's a very fun game. It's a very goofy game. Uh, very enjoyable game, I think. I don't know if it's the best game ever or anything. I certainly understand why some people have really fond memories of it from their childhood. I don't have those. I didn't play it until later in my life. I still think it's worth checking out. Especially if you already have, like, the membership that gives you, like, the Super Nintendo Virtual Console on Switch, right? But yeah, 